before I could move on to applying the second color on the body, I still needed to let the clear coat cure. So in the meantime, I figured I'd start on the interior and chassis. All the parts were prepped and primed, and then some were painted silver, others were painted black. I tried to go for a cloth interior look on the dashboard and the seats. Firstly, I just painted it with a textured black, and then on top I added some matte black. Now, it wasn't really the look I was after, it didn't really look bad either. If you want to see the finished result up close, take a look at the pictures in the end of the video. It's a bit of a textury, plasticky black, but not really a cloth or uh, flocked interior look. So with all of the remaining parts, I still needed to add some detail on those. I started with adding some carpet on the main interior pan, just laying down some clear as a glue and then the flocking on top. Some other details could be painted on as well. I just took out a brush and some Vallejo silver to highlight a couple of these areas. The main shift gate was also painted in silver. Now it's still wrong. I'm not going to correct it as it can't really be seen. And I don't think I could do a good of enough job to actually make it look good. So I just painted it and left it for what it is. Some other details on the dashboard, some of these uh, surrounds around a couple of these buttons and also the gauges also got painted silver. The detail painting part is now done so I could move on to applying a couple of decals before starting the assembly process. As I have mentioned during the unboxing video and this video as well, the chassis is nothing special. The disc brakes are separate from the calipers and that's pretty much the only special thing about it. So I'm not going to spend any time whatsoever, most of it will not be seen ever again, and it's all pretty much just black and silver, so I just started assembling it and didn't really think too much of it.
With the chassis now ready, after some plain and simple assembly, I can move on to assembling the interior. There again, it was nothing really fancy, I just assembled everything with some super glue and it went right in place without too much problems. After gluing the dashboard in place, the interior is now finished as well and that could be glued onto the chassis. Now some of you will probably be disappointed that it didn't really spend any time on the interior and the chassis in part of detailing it or improving on it. Now I can understand, but also understand this. There wasn't really much to start with, so I couldn't really add on to it without just building a complete kit from scratch. So I did it with what I had and didn't really overdo it. Most of it will be hidden underneath the body and never be seen again, so I'd rather spend a bit more time on the body itself than on the parts that will not be seen. Now in the future, I will be building a lot more kits with a lot more detail and go in depth on that one.